In this tutorial, we are going to go over some simple text animations in After Effects, mainly scrolling along a path. Um, so go ahead and open up After Effects, and what we're going to do is make uh, just go ahead and make a new comp. Uh, not sure how to do that. Click on this little button right here. Um, you can change the settings here and what you want it to be as far as frame rate and size. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And then all we need to do is uh, make a text layer. So I'm going to hit T on the keyboard, or sorry, Command T, uh, and then I'm just going to I'm just going to draw a little text box here and type in um, some text here. All right, so uh, this looks pretty good. We are going to then, uh, what we want to do, what we're going to focus on first is how to put this on a text. So maybe you want some scrolling text or to kind of animate in, um, you know, on a little path or something. So, or maybe uh, scroll around. The example that was posted um, was scrolling around a kind of a rounded rectangle around this border uh, for a social media post. So uh, we'll kind of focus on that a little bit. All right, so uh, with your text layer selected, then you need to draw a mask, and this really just depends on what size or what shape you want to make. So uh, for us, we're going to do a rounded rectangle. Um, so I'm going to go up here, and here's your little shape option. Uh, so you can do a you know a straight rectangle, rounded ellipse, and some other stuff here. But we're going to do a rounded rectangle, and then uh, when you draw your box, you need to determine uh, how rounded you want the edges. So uh, I'm going to click and drag. And then you can see I have a, a, a rounded rectangle. And then if you use the arrow keys while you're still holding down the mouse button, you can. I'm going to push up on the uh, on the arrow keys, and it kind of makes more of a uh, big corners on the box. Or I can go down and make some tight little um, rounded uh, edges on the uh, box. So I'm just going to go kind of big here, something like that. Um, so as far as I know, once you kind of lock that in, um, you would need to. I don't think there's any easy way to change the roundedness of the rectangle uh, on these masks so um, unless there is a way then please let me know but um, you would have to redraw it and uh, tweak it so uh, that looks good so we'll just let the mouse go and now we have a mask on our text uh, so the next thing you need to do is down here on the uh, text layer we're gonna go to where it says text right here if you don't see this just click on this little arrow and toggle this down so we're gonna go to text I'm gonna click on this and we have path options so I'm gonna uh, click that and then you have path and right here we have mask one which is the one that we just drew so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and it throws the text onto that path uh, now you have a couple of options um, and if you wanted to scroll sort of, sort of on the outside or on the inside so I can do reverse path and it sticks it on the inside there um, you have a couple other options you can play with um, if you want some force alignment some, um, changing you know this type of stuff well I'll leave that for now um, we'll keep it on the inside that looks fine with me um, so you may have you know your text are kind of bumping into one another here on the corners so there you may want to make even rounded a more rounded rectangle or uh, you can increase the spacing between the letters so uh, I'm gonna go to the character panel if you don't see this you can go to uh, window and character right there then I'm gonna bump up the kerning which is this little option here I'm just gonna push that up a little bit that looks good so the next thing to do would be to animate it. So uh, I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, let's go down to more options. Uh, no, let's turn that off. If we go over here to where this little animate is, I'm going to click on this play button. And you have a bunch of options here for animation. So I'm going to go to position. And there's probably a bunch of different ways to do this, but uh, we'll use position for now. Um, so with my playhead at the beginning, I'm going to go down here and click on this little stopwatch. And that's going to set a keyframe uh, to write where my text is. And then I'll push maybe up to 10 seconds or something. And then I'm going to uh, go to this. Here's your X value and your Y value. I think if you just use the X, it'll move. So uh, I'm going to um, push this pretty far forward, something like that. Okay. And so when I do that, as long as this stopwatch is on, it already sets that keyframe uh, right where I had it. So um, now if I play that back, it just kind of follows along that path. Okay. Um, another option you could do is maybe you want this, you know, a quick animation. I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to right click and go to Keyframe Assistant and click on Easy Ease. And then I can uh, do a um, make it really kind of take off really fast and then come to a really kind of slow down like it's a plane's landing so uh, I'm gonna highlight those keyframes click on this little graph right here and this is the graphic editor 
Um, so I'm going to um, click over here, this little menu option, and do speed graph, which is what I have. Just make sure that's selected. And then I can click and drag this point. This is that, that last key, uh, last little keyframe that we set. And then I have these little handles that I'm going to click, that little yellow dot, and just slide it to the left. And then I can slide, maybe slide this one down a little bit. So it's going to take off kind of slow, go really, really fast, and then really slow down. So now if I go back and uh, render that out, and obviously this is happening over 10 seconds, so it's going really slow. But you get the idea. So if I want to make that happen even faster, I can just move that keyframe in, render this out. So you can see it takes off super fast and then slows down to a stop. Uh, so um, that is how you would animate that along the path. Um, some other things you could do. There's a now there's a ton of things you can do inside of this um, menu that you may want to play with. Um, I will be the first to admit that I'm terrible at making cool text animations. Uh, there's a ton of presets you can buy online um, for text animation, how they bounce in or fade in. Um, one of my ones that I use all the time, so let me redo this, is if I make my text layer here. And I use it all the time because really that's the only one I, I know how to do um, decently. So, um, and, it's, and it's very simple and clean. So. I'm going to move this down and go. So again, I have my text layer. I'm going to toggle this down. I'm going to go to Animate and the Opacity option. I'm going to click on that. And for now, I'm going to turn the Opacity right here where it says Range Selector. I'm going to turn that all the way down. So then I'm going to go to the Animator, Range Selector, toggle this down. And you have Start and End. So I'm going to um, set my key. I'm going to push this down here, set my keyframe on the end, slide this down, maybe somewhere around there, and then I can turn that like that. So now it kind of fades in. Um, usually what I do is I have the, the characters fade in randomly. So if you go to where it says advanced, turn this down, and I'm going to go to smoothness. Uh, we'll keep that at zero, or keep that at 100. And then randomize order, I'm going to hit on turn to on. And now if I render this out, kind of fades those on. So it's not really all that fancy, um, but if you do it kind of fast, it kind of, you know, it's kind of nice. I use it a lot. Um, so that's an option you can do there. Um, so there's, again, tons of other things you could do. Uh, we can do maybe one more. What you maybe see in a lot of movie trailers, you can do the uh, tracking. Um, so if I turn this on and go to tracking, this is under the animate little button there. Go to tracking, and then we can set a keyframe. I can push this forward, and then uh, kind of separate it like that. Very movie trailer style. Okay, so um, those are just a few tips. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really to cover. Again, there's tons of stuff here to do. Play with those. Um, teach me something because I stink at using these a lot. Um, oh, one other thing we could do as far as the math or the uh, path thing goes that I meant to cover was uh, let's go ahead and make that text box, and then uh, we can do any path really. So if you want to make it kind of a, a curly path, you can um, just draw a mask. So if I hit a G on the keyboard, I get my pen tool, and as long as my layer is selected, I can just kind of start drawing a math or a, a path. Okay, so something like that. You don't even have to close it. Um, you can just leave it like that, I, don't, I believe. Uh, so now we're going to again click on our text layer, toggle this down, go to text, go to path options, go to mask one, and now it's attached to there, and we can switch that to be on the top. Well, let's see. Um, I think you can move it. I don't want it upside down. I guess technically that works. Or what you could do is if you wanted to be on the top of the box, you could go to your text layer, your character panel, and maybe move this like that. I guess you could do that. That's one way to do it. All right, so we'll just we'll just do that for now. And then you can animate that in. So we could do we can just do our margins for now. So set this back to zero. Actually, no, let's move it down here. So we'll start there. Set our keyframe, push this forward, something like that. 
Right, let's go all the way to the end. Like a little roller coaster. And I'm going to set these to easy ease. And turn my, again, I'm clicking. So what I did is I, uh, sorry, moving a bit too fast. Uh, change both those to easy ease, highlight those uh, keyframes, and click my little graph editor. Highlight that last keyframe and slide that to the end. You just want to make sure you keep the point sort of on that zero line there. So now if we render that out, and there we go. All right, so. Uh, so that's some basic stuff for text animation. Um, if you want to add to that, please do. Hopefully you learned something, uh, and we will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.